it's a fantastic thing i think everybody should come here and see and this is my first time to uh, is open day and it's been a fantastic experience uh, how they has organized it's really very well uh, so this is the second time we are coming uh, we are very happy that isc has opened uh, its doors for common people one day is enough to see all these things no at least minimum 3 days we need to uh, uh, explore this camp and all more days anto beku sir one dina salala new headline tara irutt ashtene one dina at least 3 days beku we love isc Hello everyone I am Sunandan and this is Suraj and this is our product Anno so nowadays we know every day on the newspaper you see our food that we eat is contaminated right with pesticides and uh, they are also not fresh because they come from far away farms so why not we take a, a till reduce the strain on the already over strained farmlands and grow some part of the vegetables in our own home so that is our uh, concept in a very tiny footprint because in urban areas the floor area is what matters okay even uh, we did some survey in mumbai people they were saying that there is no place uh, like if people want to have a kitchen garden but they have no space to do so so that is these are the problems that we want to solve with ano and we want people to have uh, greener lives with fresher and safer food thank you i'm sindhu manoj i've been uh, i'm coming from jp nagar uh, bangalore and i've been visiting i've never missed even one session of uh, the open day at iisc it's a fantastic thing i think everybody should come here and see because uh, there's so many things first of all this is the only day when iisc is open to the public and the next thing is that uh, there are so many activities which we get to see for school students for college students for anybody and even for the common public there are so many things which we can see and there are a lot of departments over here where you can uh, according to your interest if you're interested in electrical engineering you can there's a department if you're interested in climate change there's a department for that so i think everybody should come and see it's an opportunity to uh, see this institution nama bangalore thank you hello i am vinod i'm coming from whitefield and this is my first time to uh, iisc open day and it's been a fantastic experience kids and even myself have enjoyed all the different branches of science and it's been a wonderful experience uh, to see the the great iisc in detail and uh, i have had a very good experience with my family and uh, children thank you this is basically called a quadcopter you know why it's called a quadcopter this is a drone normally called a quadcopter so the reason why it's called a quadcopter is that it has four propellers these are the four propellers that is had so when it rotates it pushes air downwards because of this shape it's similar to helicopters and all those things and this is just a remote receiver so this is the remote for it and i just give the joystick controls and it gives the commands for this it's basically like a tv remote you just press the switches and it changes the channel similarly i just give the throttle and it decides how high i need to fly now all those things so that's basically it in layman's terms so we'll have a look on how it flies okay hi uh, i am bhanuj and currently we are at the nptel studio of the desc department at iisc here we are conducting a kids quiz so that when people come on open day at iisc they get to experience a lot of experiment uh, experiments but for kids uh, there's not so much to do so that's why we had a quiz just for kids uh, so welcome all so today we have here the line follower contest uh, organized by the department of electronic systems engineering at iisc bangalore so what you see here is the final round of the competition in this competition we had initially two uh, rounds and this is the third round and the we had more than 30 boats competing for the final spot and the final round is for 15 participants it is going on live now and the top 3 participants will be getting excited pricing from department of electronic systems engineering at ies thank you makkalgella ivattu science exhibition torsudu karkond bandidivi parisarad bagge jagruti moorsana ante especially naan karkond bandidini madam science maths ella heli explain maadi makkalgella tiliskotvi naan helide neevella chenna godi nandini madam tara scientist aagbeku nee anta makkalella baala inspire aagidare ella kelkondu ella nodi khushi aitu thumba chenaga organize maadidare thank you brain brain bagge 
ಮಳೆ like it, it behaves like a solid because like uh, in fluids between the layers there will be viscosity as like uh, friction in the uh, uh, layers of the solid uh, so normally the viscosity of the fluids will not change with the shear rate uh, but uh, where the shear rate will changes na uh, changes of the fluid then it is called like non newtonian fluid hello my name is dr sunita and uh, say uh, like uh, we have uh, uh, here like this is our third years to be here in this uh, uh, isc and uh, we I, i also belong from the science background uh, how they has organized it's really very well and i think this one day is not enough to cover entire uh, department i think it's need two more days to occupy all the uh, that those the students are explaining very well and uh, uh, like something some more uh, game kind of thing should be there and kids ex- activity even not only we people elder people kids are also having fun they enjoy in the kids zone so more activity should be there and uh, and i think it would take uh, two more days to cover all these things thank you my name is shivanya i study in second standard uh, i came here and i like so much and it was very fun and i enjoy and i eat some things it was very fun thank you namaste i am nandini i am working with karnataka state council for science and technology so today uh, during the open house we have these models this is uh, rain water harvest uh, program and uh, this is about uh, digital uh, modeling of uh, Uh, archaeological sites we have done archaeological uh, survey at many different places and we have come up with uh, digitization of uh, uh, this archaeological uh, you know sites especially about this uh, you know hampi models you can see here you can see the uh, 3d imaging of hampi model and uh, narsimha and uh, you can see uh, how easily we can uh, teach uh, mathematics and science to through various tools i enjoyed and i i saw microscope one day is enough to see all these things no more you want more days yes you come here Yes. And so hello, my name is Pradyumna and I'm here from CGPL in IISC. What we have here is a Rubens tube. Uh what Rubens tube does is when you play music through the Rubens tube, it uh, uses the high pressure and low pressure regions due to sound wave uh, rarefactions and gives out different flame lengths. Basically the flame dances with the music you play with it. So we are the students of Ashwin Vidyalaya in Matikere so we are the visitors in this IISC and we had a very great experiences it's very useful for future and like the uh, most innovation ideas we can get from here and i think so like one day is not enough for uh, uh, roaming in this camp and getting the great experiences at least minimum 3 days we need to uh, uh, explore this camp and all like i had very g- great experience these are my friends we came we didn't know this is our first time and uh, we had a very great experience and uh, everything was well and good and it were great innovative ideas we got for our science exhibition and all thank you hello everyone my name is utsav swarnakar i'm the general secretary student council today we are on the occasion of open day we are selling our merchandise student ex- exclusive student council merchandise we are doing fundraising event for rapsody which is our annual scitech and cultural fest and we are going to celebrate that on 22nd and 23rd of march so this is like 76 open day of isc so uh, this doors of isc are, is open for everyone everyone is coming from outside for experiment to see experiment from different different department and uh, i would like to invite everyone for rapsody rapsody site site and cultural fest of isc thank you my name is dhriti um mahalakshmi puram uh, nps jainagar 
I like that I can learn new th things every time I come here. I I like that I have fun and I also learn new things here. So what did you visit so far? Um, I visited the laser labyrinth puzzle. I saw a robot co car competition. Uh, that's it. Yes. And I also went on the musical stairs. Uh, so this is the second time we are coming. Uh, we are very happy that ISC has opened uh, its doors for common people. Uh, so this is uh, an opportunity for us to explore the departments, learn more, uh, inspire the kids uh, to uh, aspire to enter this institution uh, and also learn how we might, uh, you know, um, what are the career opportunities, what are the uh, different departments available. Uh, so it's, it's been fun. So last year we went to neuroscience. Uh, we saw a brain, a real brain and uh, we're back this year. <laughs> no, one day is definitely not enough because the campus is really, really huge. Uh, so, and, and we have to, yeah, there are so many departments and we're interested in uh, uh, seeing all of them or at least most of them. So, uh, if ISC can uh, uh, please uh, keep this open for at least three days, it will be really helpful for us. Uh, we stay close by so we can always uh, uh, come in on all three days and explore. Saranya, I'm from Bangalore only. I'm staying in Kerpuram. Really, we are enjoying here. Uh, compared to us, uh, kids are enjoying a lot. My name is Tushar and I'm studying in grade 5 on the Academy of Learning, which is uh, there in Whitefield. Uh, since morning, I was uh, getting ready to see my uh, father's nephew's, uh, you know, science projects over here. Last month, uh, for us, synergy has happened and I was talking about Persian wheels. I kind of liked the test, but suddenly whenever I got the first test, it was damn easy. Then I gave it back and suddenly they changed it to a fifth question, but no worries, I got 8 out of 10. My name is Arya and I go to NPS Jainagar. And today I, I went to the laser labyrinth and I did the test here, but it was too easy. I got 10 out of 10. Uh, good evening everyone, my name is Rochit and uh, we are from uh, Bangalore. We mostly saw about neuroscience and uh, uh, interdisciplinary uh, uh, projects that uh, they have been working on. There were a lot of activities around the campus and uh, a lot of stalls where uh, food is there. Uh, there were a lot of uh, places where we could drink uh, clean water, uh, seating arrangements were uh, quite really good. And totally it was a, a, a great experience for us. Uh, thank you. I'm Justin Professor of English from Pratyusha Engineering College and we are from Chennai. Thiru district actually this is the first time i'm being uh, so come to this college and it was a great experience to us and we came 100 plus uh, students with the faculty members and it was a tremendous experience to us and one more thing is and uh, the campus is very good and the exposure is very good and we know about the yeah supercomputer it is a new to us and i am the first person to be uh, visit the new computers i don't even know about the systems properly but it was a good experience next to me okay so this is just a polish in back and so when i give a sound frequency you can see patterns they form here so what happens is sand goes to places where like uh, the amplitude is very less so these would be our nodes places where there is no sand, the amplitude is very high and those would be our antidotes. Can you show me a lower sound and see yeah. how it appears? So, thing is like the number of nodes and antinodes being formed depends on like the uh, frequency of sound being applied. So, if I apply a different frequency, the pattern form would be different. So, this is called a cladding plane. It's used to find the frequency response of like musical instruments. Used to find the reverberation frequency of like different materials. I love ISC.